Hi everyone, today we're going to create the epoxy resin snowman kit. Before we get started, I want you to make sure you have everything ready, tops open, so everything out of your kit should be right here within reach. You should have your white sand, crushed glass, the crushed blue shells, the sand colored sand, you're going to have some little starfish, you'll have your black sand, you have some black paint for later, for later you have yarn for your scarf, you have some shells, and I have everything opened up here so I can get at them easily. You have a little shell for the nose, and you're going to have some popsicle sticks to use as tools to move things around. And for the resin, you have the large mixing sticks, you have two cups, and you have two bottles that include the resin and the hardener. So the resin is part one and the hardener is part two. And what I'm going to do, and this is basic for all our resin kits, we're going to dump number one into cup one. I'm going to pour out enough to reach the number three. Let's just make sure we get to the three. Okay, I am to the three. Okay, and then with the hardener, doing the same thing. I'm gonna fill cup number two. And again, I wanna get that filled up to the three. So we want each cup to measure at three. So I'm going to pour number two into number one. I want to make sure I get everything out of the cup. I'm scraping it with my stick. I can even go around like that and get the rest off. Just want to make sure you get as much as you can out. Okay. It's good to have some wipes and paper towels around. Okay. So I'm going to start mixing, and you'll notice when I start, it becomes very cloudy for at least two minutes until it becomes clear. After about two, two and a half minutes, once it's completely clear, you're going to pour it onto the glass. Now this will stay liquid for about 20 to 30 minutes at least. You don't have to rush. It doesn't just harden up. So once you have the entire glass covered, then we're going to begin working on our design. I'm going to start with my snowman body about three or four inches up from the bottom. You'll notice that the sand floats. So you want to give start out with a little bit. I want to make each circle a little smaller as I move up to his head. So I'm adding, if I want my snowman to get bigger, I'm adding around the edge. Again, I'm adding around the edge if I want my circles bigger. Okay. 
Okay. Then I'm going to adjust. Make sure that my shapes stay where I want them. And I'm going to start working on some of my other areas. Once I have these really nice gems that I'm going to fill the background with, these gems will give it a look like we're in a snowstorm. Give it a lot of texture. forget to leave room for his hat you can really move these wherever you want you don't have to worry about putting them in the wrong spot okay. I'm gonna put my snowman on the beach so I'm going to let the beach start about here. I'm going to go right up to his body. Okay. Have my beach down. I'm going to use some of these to create a little ocean background. That's my ocean in the background. These nice blue shells, crust shells. So I'm adding starfish to my beach. And you can add some shells. Some bigger shells down the bottom. I'm going to use these white shells for the buttons down his front. Okay. We have this yarn to make a scarf. So I'm going to cut a few pieces evenly. Make his scarf as fat as you want or as thin as you want. Just make sure that you get it settled into the epoxy. I'm going to lift up some and bring it over the yarn so it's nice and shiny. Like that. Okay. Now I'm going to work a little bit on the hat. So what I'm doing with the hat is I'm going to make a square shape. I'm not going to go too big because it's going to be expanding. Get a little more up the top. Okay. A little more. 
And then I'm gonna create the brim of the hat by just making a line across down a little bit on the snowman's head so that it looks like it's actually sitting there. And it's going to be, I also have this crushed glass that I'm gonna put a little bit around the edges of my snowman to give it a little sprinkle here. Just kind of edging him off with the glass. It's giving him a little sparkly contour. And if you don't like the sparkly glass, you don't have to put that on. If you like more of it, you can put more of it. Do you have enough to go around his head? Maybe put a little bit up here on the top of his head too. I'm gonna put a little here. Okay, and I'm adjusting. One thing I want to put onto his hat, I want to place a little star there. There we go, nice little star on his hat. I'm put his nose here. Here. Okay, so for now we're going to put our snowman away for three days and let it cure. It'll take that long to completely harden. When you do take it out after the third day, then you're going to put his face on. You're going to use the toothpick to dab a dot for each eye and for the mouth. So you'll just dip and dab and get that done once it's completely hardened. So again, thank you for making this epoxy snowman with us. I hope you love yours as much as I love mine.